All right, I'm at one of my stops here, and I want to take you along real quick, show you a few things real quick. Again, its installation was bad. Somebody that did it didn't know what they were doing, and this is some things that happened as a result of it. It's a small property. They wanted me to come out and look, uh, take care of a leak they have inside, repair it. In my opinion, it's bad. It was a bad install, and they got raccoons tearing their way into it. I'll show you that here in a second. So I'm going to figure for an estimate. Right here is a hole. There's a hole. Something looks weird with the bottom, and my opinion, and you know, my opinion, my experience is, see that right here? They got the starter and shingle lined up. It looks like they did flip it upside down, so it's not every foot going to be bad, but it's every 36 inches where this shingle comes together and the next one. So that rotted out. There's a little bit of debris in there, birds living in there. That's starting to rot out. Every 36 inches has got it. This one here is bad. It's actually got not just debris, but raccoon feces in there. Raccoon crap. Look at that, you got little raccoon hairs stuck on this from when he was getting in there, in and out of there. Just, you know, the raccoons this time of year, they're just trying to find a nice warm shelter. And if they got a small little spot, they will rip into it. I shot a video, I run into it a few times a year, it's probably my third time this year now. He's just trying to find a nice warm home for himself and his family, and he probably found a good job here. Uh, it's kind of rotting out down here and sagging, same over there. This vent has been nailed down and then shingled over. This, I'm sorry, flue pipe. This vent here has been nailed down to the decking and then shingles run up over the top of it. So you can see, you get this water, the tar is starting to crack and buckle. Water trickling in there. This flue pipe is done the same way. This is actually a little high. Old sealer put on here, that was never shoved back down. Again, it's tar, it's cracked, water could get in there bad wavy wood here probably rotten out on the bottom I'm gonna walk down to it there's another big hole that uh, is probably a raccoon got in there it's classic telltale sign of a raccoon ripping pieces up typically wind damage you'll see a whole tab snap and a clean line right here that's raccoon damage had a little rotted spot looking for a warm place ripped into it so they shove a piece of metal to dry it in every 36 inches you got more shingle starter line up Rotten wood, rotten wood with a hole, rotten wood. Whole bottom row here has uh, been bad. I don't know about the garage, I'll probably jump over there real quick. This thing is probably under vented. Uh, I think the fascia board over there looked like it was actually pulling away. I'm gonna turn the camera off here in a minute, just get tape measure, measure the height and the width, figure up a quick estimate for this. Jump over to the garage over there, get that figured up. Uh, hell, I could probably count height up and tabs over. Just get it figured for an estimate. Take me a few minutes to figure what it'll be. And part of the reason why I'm gonna figure an estimate when they're wanting to repair is you gotta justify the cost and the time and the labor to repair the entire bottom row where it's rotted on both sides. Then you got the fact that this is an older three tab shingle and it looks like it's near its end of life. I'd say a good 60% of the granules have already come off of the shingle. You got things like this that are all done wrong. And I'm not gonna I mean, I guess I want work, but I'm not gonna lower my standards so much just to try to get a job And guess what they're calling me back because there's still a leak Well, it's from something above that I didn't do so this one's getting an estimate for replacement That's just the way it is and there's people out there that install stuff like this and it keeps other people in business I guess so Cheap is not good. Good is not cheap You pay for what you get you get what you pay for that's what I meant to say if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. If you uh, would consider, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscription button and the bell off to the side so you can see these how-to videos and save yourself a boatload of money. Uh, try to support me. I got a little kid. She's gonna need a college education soon. So you see in the affiliate links down below and it's something you're gonna need to buy, click the link and buy it, please. I'd appreciate it. She'd definitely appreciate it. Mama, appreciate it. Have a good one.